Hello, K4. How are you going? How are you doing? Hmm? Are you having fun in your house with your family? Well, we were on holiday. That's why you didn't have any activity to do. But now we are back and we have some activities and very nice things to do together, okay? So I am uh, going to show you some activities for us to do together, yeah? So first of all, we are going to do one that is like this, see? Who knows what's this? And do you remember which artist we were learning about? Did you guess? Did you remember? No? Well, his name is Luciano Martins and we were doing some of his paintings together. We did the fish. Do you remember the fish? So, and, and now we are going to do this one. It's an unicorn. Okay, this is the original picture, but it will be like this. You are going to receive in your house, you're going to get in the school and have in your house, a kit with many materials. And uh, inside that bag, you will have some these activities that I'm going to show you and do with you today, okay? So, the unicorn, you will have a paper with the unicorn drawn like that. But your paper, my paper is white, okay? But your paper will be purple, yeah? Because the back of the painting, look, is purple, yeah? So, the unicorn will be uh, drawn on an on a purple paper, okay? But it will be like this. What we are going to do with this? Inside here, you are going to put a lot of glue, a lot of glue here, and then you will um, spread all over the unicorn, but only inside the unicorn, not outside. Inside, you spread all the glue here, and when you finish doing that, you are going to put salt. So, I will do it for you to see. Oh, but you have to put a lot of glue, okay? A lot. Like that. And then you spread with your finger. This way, the glue will be all over the unicorn this way when you finish you clean your finger don't worry like that spread around with your finger you can have a, a cloth or baby wipes to clean your finger when it's over okay I'll clean my finger just a second. When you finish, you clean your finger and then you will have to put the salt. It's, it's just a little, okay? I got here, put on your hand like this, if you prefer, or you get this way, and then you do this all over the unicorn, like that, see, and then you just leave it to dry, it will take a while, so the first part of our art activity is this, because we have to wait to dry, so you can't do anything else, okay? You have to, let, to wait until the next day to dry and then you will be able to finish your unicorn. Okay? So first, you do this, look. When it's completely dry, you will throw all this 
amount of salt that's not glued, you will throw away, okay? But I will show you. I, my unicorn here is dried. See? Oh, that, here we have salt. Your paper will be purple, so you can see the salt. My paper is white, so you can't very well. But then you will get inside of your your the kit you're going to get from the school, you will have some paint. And there, there will be six colors. You can use any of the colors you want. You can use all, all the colors, just two, just three. Anyway, you choose the color you want to use, okay? I want, I'm going to use red, green, and yellow, okay, to paint my unicorn. You can paint the way you want, you can paint as a rainbow, you can paint each part in different color, you can paint only one color, so it's up to you. And you have to use your finger again. You just put here, and then you keep doing this way, look. Then you will paint the salt, okay? Only the salt. And only inside the unicorn, not outside, okay? Oh, but now I want to change the color. Okay, you clean your finger again. Yes. Like this. And then you get the other color you want. I'm going to use green with your finger again and here. Like this, see? Very good. I want to change, okay. The same. Clean your finger again and change the color. Now I'm going to use yellow. Like this. But now I want to choose the other color or I want to repeat the red one. Anyway, that's the idea, okay? You are going to keep going until all your unicorn is painted, okay? Mine is long like this because I didn't finish, but you are going to finish yours, okay? And then you have to wait to dry very well, and then you will have a very beautiful unicorn. Yes? I wish I could see all your unicorns. I think they are going to be so cute. So colorful, I want to see all of them. But now we are going to change our activity, okay? We are going to do this one. Look, you will get a paper with your name here, another space here, and a big rectangle. What we are going to do? Write our names. I will write mine, I'm teacher Pri, but my name is Priscila. You know that, so look, Priscilla. So, inside you have this activity for you to do, and you have some letters, look. And you are going to put the letters on the paper to form your name. So, put the letters on the correct way to form your name. So, first, I will put P, R, E, S, C, E, L, L, A, Priscila, see? I have a long name. So, you paste all these letters to form your name. And in the big square, you are going to write your name, okay? So, you can get a pencil or a marker, whatever you want. I think you should use a pencil because if you do it wrong, you can erase, okay? But it's up to you. You are going to copy now 
your name. So I'm going to choose the color blue. I will use blue, okay? But you write the way you want. So, and I you write my name here in the square. See? Let me show you how it's it is. I finished. Let me show you mine. See? Priscilla. And you will do the same, but it's not going to be with Priscilla. It's going to be with your names. Okay? That's it. When you finish, you put it away because the letters must dry too. Then we will have this one. Look, I'm not sure if you can see very well, but there are numbers from 1 to 5. And you have that, the numbers with small dots. You have to uh, draw, to pass on each dot to form the number. So, you can use this, you can use a marker if you want. I'm going to use green. So, here you have one. So, we will do a number one all over the paper until you finish number one. Okay? And then you have number two and number two and another number two. So, you do it very slowly to cover all the dots. We have there, see? One by one. Don't worry, it can take some time. No problem. Now we do number four. All over the dots, two. And the last one is number five. Here we are. Five. And five and one more. Five. See? And you I did all my numbers, so that's what you have to do too. See? One, two, three, four, and five. That's it. And then we have this activity here. Look. Do you remember that we are learning about the animals? So we are going to do super trunfo. And we already did the rich, the lobster, and now here we have the squid. And you have some places, some information to complete. See? Here you have to put the name, Lula. Here you have to put the size. See? Tamanho. Tempo de vida and what does she eat, it eat, okay? That's it. So you have to research with your parents to complete this card that will be a game later. Okay? So each of you will have a game called Super Truth. And today we are doing the squid. Yeah? So you have to complete the information. Well done. And our last activity is this one with numbers again. We have numbers one, two, three, four, and five. And you have to complete all them, but you are going to pay some shamrocks, okay? So, in number one, you can put the glue here for you to use, to paste your shamrock, but it will be like this. Ah, number one, so how many shamrocks do I have to paste here? One, yes, yeah? so I will get only one, and I will put here on the side, we put beside number one, see? And then we have two, so how many shamrocks we, we, we must paste now? Two, so one, and then two, okay? And you have to keep going. How many shamrocks here? Three, four, and five until you finish your activity two. Okay? So, 
that's it for today. I hope you really had fun. I did. I miss you a lot, kids. I really hope we can go back to school very soon. And then we can do all these activities together. And I can see all your the activities that you were doing, okay? Um, if you want, you can ask your parents to send me pictures or videos of you doing and showing me your, your activities when they are done, when they are finished. And I will be very happy to see all your faces again. I'm, I really miss you all, okay? Hope you are having fun in your house, playing a lot, and see you soon, okay? Bye-bye, kids. Big hug and big kiss for you. When I see you again, I will hug you and kiss you a lot. Bye-bye. Hello, K4. How are you guys? I hope you're all doing well at home and I miss you so much. So for this week, we are gonna focus on our fine motor skills and we are gonna do that making a homemade puzzle. Do you like puzzles? I love puzzles. And also we are gonna make a dog to cut the doggy's fur using scissors. So I think we're gonna have so much fun and let's do it. So we are gonna need, first we are gonna do our homemade puzzle and you are gonna need only a few things. So I have here two pieces of cardboard and they are with the same size. So this is basically two squares, okay? So now I will save this one and I wanna show you. So you need to measure and do like a, a frame around the cardboard and then you are going to make a chart with the numbers because each square it's going to be our puzzle, a piece of the puzzle, okay? So now you are going to get a scissor and cut in the line around, okay? So I've done already to make it easier. So I take it off. Okay, it's gonna be like this, and we are gonna save this. And we have the numbers here. So you are gonna get a paper and you need to choose a drawing. So I drew here a Pikachu. So cute. So I will get my cardboard and I will turn the numbers and I will paste my picture on the other side okay so here I have the numbers and here I have the picture okay so let me paste Let me see if I have any brushes here to spread the glue. No, I don't. So I will use my finger. Okay. Okay, now I can get my picture and I can paste on the cardboard. Ah, I forgot to say that it's really important to leave a blanket space on the picture, on the drawing because we're gonna take out a piece so we can move the puzzle, okay? okay. <laughs> uh, let me see ah, now I will get my other cardboard and I will paste the frame, okay? so Mm 
Okay, it's done. Look. So now I will get my cardboard with my picture and I will cut in the line. Okay, so let me do it. I'll keep cutting. So now look guys, I have here like all the pieces and it's done. I love it. That's so nice. K4, you can play and have so much fun with your new homemade puzzle. I hope you enjoy it and have so much fun. Thank you. Bye bye. Hey K4, how are you guys? Today we work with our scissor skills and we are gonna do that in a really fun way because I know sometimes working with the scissors it might be a little frustrating for the kids so that's why we are gonna practice a lot. So for today we are gonna make a dog because we are gonna groom the dog. We are gonna cut the dog's fur. So you need a box to be our doggy's body. And I have here four toilet paper rolls for the doggy's legs. Scissor, of course. Tape, glue, and yarn. Okay, so first I will start pasting my doggy's legs on the bottom, okay? So I will put some tape on the bottom. Draw my 
that's so cute. So now I will put some glue on the top and on the sides, okay? So I'll put And I will use a brush to spread the glue. Okay, I think it's enough. And I will get my yarn. You can get as much as you want it to be our doggy's fur. more here and I will put on my doggy. Look at how nice they are. Love this. Wow. So now you can get your scissor and help your doggy cutting the fur. That's so much fun. That's it, I hope you'll... Hello, K4, how are you guys? Today we'll do a sink or fold game experiment. And you will need a big container of water. And I will ask you guys to go around your house to find and gather up some stuff, like some toys, or you can get something from the kitchen, but remember to get stuff that we can put into the water, okay? So, the sink or float activity is really nice for the kids because this is going to help them to understand a little bit more about different kind of materials, sizes, shapes, and weight, okay? So, let's do it. So, first, I will start with my balloon. What do you think is going to happen with the balloon? Is it going to float on the top or is it going to sink to the bottom? Let's see. So, can you see? The balloon is floating. It floats. Nice. So, now I want to try a coin. What do you think is going to happen? Is it going to float or is it going to sink? Let's see. And it sank to the bottom. So now I have here two different kind of spoons. A metal one and a plastic one. What do you think is going to happen here? So first... I will start with my plastic spoon. So let's see. And it floats. Nice. What about my metal one? Let's see. And it sank to the bottom. You might be asking why there are some objects that float on the top and why there are some objects that sink to the bottom. It is because density. So, if an object is more dense than the water, that means that object will sink to the bottom. But if that object is less dense than the water, that means that object will float in the water. That's so nice. 
I hope you like it. Have fun. See you later, K4. Bye bye. Hello, K4. Let's sing some songs. Let's make a circle. So let's do it. It's our time to sing together. It's our time to sing together. It's our time to sing together. Sing hello, hello, and stop. What should we do for hello, K4? Should we clap our hands? Yes. It's our time to clap with K4. It's our time to clap with K4. It's our time to clap with K4. Clap hello, hello, and stop. What should we do now for hello? Should we roll our hands like this? It's our time to roll with K4. It's our time to roll with K4. It's our time to roll with K4. Roll, hello, hello, and stop. Now I want to sing the Big Black Bear song. A big black bear, a big black bear was sleeping in a cave. A big black bear, a big black bear was sleeping in a cave. Please be very quiet. Very, very quiet. Cause if you shake him, if you wake him, he gets really mad. Oh my, I miss that so much. So now, what about John the Rabbit? Do you remember John the Rabbit? Yes. So you remember that you need to say yes, man. Okay? Oh, John the Rabbit, yes, man. Got a mind habit, yes, man. Jumping in my garden, yes, man. Cutting down my cabbage, yes, man. My sweet potatoes, yes, man. My fresh tomatoes, yes, man. And if I leave, yes, man. To see next fall, oh, yes, man. I ain't gonna have, yes, man. No garden at all, no. Seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. Blue and brown and gray, yellow, pink, white. Green, blue and brown and gray, yellow, pink, white, green. Birds in the sky singing songs, flying high, cause she sells seashells by the seashore. <laughs> She sells seashells by the seashore. Now, ah, I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. I've been working on the railroad just to pass the time away. Can't you hear the whistle blowing? Rise up so early in the morn. Can't you hear the captain shouting? Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow your horn? Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow? Dinah, won't you blow your horn? Someone's gonna get you with Dinah. Someone's gonna get you, I know. Someone's gonna get you with Dinah. He's swimming on the own banjo. Flea, fly, flea, fly, yo, flea, 
fly, flea fly, yo, flea fly, flea fly, yo. It's Tweemy on the arm angel. <laughs> I hope you like it. <laughs> and thank you so much. See you later. Bye bye. Hello, K4. How are you? Today I got something really nice that this is gonna keep you outside in the backyard or in the garden for a few minutes or a few hours. This is up to you. And if you don't have a backyard, it's okay because I do not have a backyard here, but I've done this with the plants I have inside my apartment, okay? So you are gonna ask to your parents to collect, to pick up some leaves and flowers from the bushes, from the plants, and then we're gonna stuck it in a paper. And when it's ready, you are gonna ask your children to go find those plants. So this is really nice for them to, to keep them exploring the backyard and to search about the plants you have inside your house. So that's it. Let me know how was it and have fun. Bye bye. Hello, K4. Today we are gonna do a craft. And since Easter is coming, we are gonna do an Easter bunny. So you will need three white papers. So we can use two white papers to make the bunny's body. And with the third one, we are gonna draw the ears the nose and the mouth and also the paws okay and you can get your markers or crayons ready we will also need a scissor a glue and a stapler and that's it okay so first i will get my first paper and i will fold in both ways so I will fold here, I will turn my paper around and I will keep folding all the way, the whole paper, okay? It's gonna be like this and then I will get my second paper and I will do the same. When it's ready, you are gonna hold your paper in the middle, you are gonna put those parts together and you are gonna use your stick. And then, we are gonna put them together like a circle, okay? To make the bunny's body. And this is gonna be like this. So cute. So you can paste the ears, the nose, and the paws. And you can get your marker to decorate and draw the eyes. Also, I have here some cotton. If you want to paste, it's gonna be so fluffy. And that's it. I hope you like it. Have fun. Bye bye. Hello, everyone. Today we are gonna do some math, some counting. And it's really simple. You will just need a paper, some paper, marker, and some clothes pin. And you can draw whatever you want. I've done some bunnies. And you can write down some numbers, okay? And when it's ready, you can ask your children to count and find the correct amount, okay? So let's try to do this together. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Can you find number 12? It's number one and number two. So when you find it, you can get your clothes pin and put on number 12, okay? So you can put this. So what do we have here? We have some carrots. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 
Can you find number 14? It's number one and number four. So you can get your clothespin and put on number 14. That's so fun. So that's it. I hope you have fun. Thank you everyone. Bye bye.